y'all i'm gonna try to come real quick with a video because i done sat up here um at this laptop looking at stuff on youtube when i should have been making this video and now i done got late and i need to get into bed this is hollywood divas uh season one episode five okay y'all it opens up with paula coming home talking to her husband and that nasty behind house y'all let me just say this sir you don't have no job okay like am i the only person that is looking at this house like why the hell do it look like y'all living they doing a, a episode of hoarders with all these trash bags and stuff around their house like come on like for real y'all my mama my mama just moved like a month or so ago like my mama in her 50s she just moved a month or so ago she was like nah she went finna have all these boxes and all this stuff sit around for months or sundays you know what i'm saying like come on paula y'all need to get that together then she said that countess was cool with her part but then she flip flat she might have been cool with her part but she wasn't cool with the fact that you pretty much talking about she got the fine uh she they gonna show the, the definition of love because she's not the typical one that you would see the athlete with that was shade she wasn't cool with that then she talking about he said would well, they have a problem and she was like yes five unemployed you know four unemployed actresses hold up paula baby y'all just got 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 a little piece of house you know a couple of episodes ago y'all was homeless for five months i don't think you need to be counting about the damn pockets because clearly even though you know golden you know she kind of going through right now with the rolls and stuff but they show her house she has a beautiful house so yeah let's not go there paula then <laughs> y'all they had me laughing because um they was just like you know she was like holly berry played a crackhead and and that's what got her career started i mean with she had a career before that but let i digress that's what got her career started and you know her broke down husband talking about yeah you know that'll show gold is death because she keeps talking about all of these you know this acting um training that she has so we're just trying to show because the, those kind of that crackhead you know those kind of roles is where the the awards and the real accolades are gonna come from y'all all looking like well shit if if, if, if it's a guaranteed oscar uh a bet award or something why why you don't want to play it paula girl please then she talking about um she just feels she said something about she felt like they was jealous y'all tell me what who y'all what do paula got for anybody this ain't no shade i'm being very serious no shade but what do paula got for anybody to be damn jealous of somebody please tell me okay golden says that you know she tells elise that she's kind of jealous that lisa was hang that um elise was hanging with lisa and i was like come on now golden that's real high schoolish um and you know her and elise was talking and you know they was pretty much talking about how paula you know she tries to like interrupt golden and, and try to get loud with her and i you know they were saying they don't understand why she liked it she jealous uh, to me paul is pretty much jealous of everybody on the show then um the funniest thing tonight to me was countess when she was getting the um the g the g spot uh shot that was funny um i loved that yellow eyeshadow then we see Paula calling her broke down man talking about because she get it. I said, girl, quit playing. Y'all can't afford that. Don't. Paula, don't put on for TV. Um. Then we see while Countess is getting the shot, 
we see Paula and Lisa talking, you know, about how the meeting went. You know, when everybody was like, well, wait a minute, we supposed to be collaborating and blah, 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 blah. And Lisa was right. Lisa was like, well, you told me that it was your project, but I don't know what you told everybody else. And from what the women, from what, what the other women were saying, it sounded like it was supposed to be more of a collaboration. And maybe, you know, maybe they felt a little blindsided, which was exactly right. But Paula just done jumped down, you know, just done shut Lisa up. No, no, no. And blase whoop whoop. And, and I'm just like, Paula, you don't never want to be wrong. You was wrong in that situation. Like, seriously. Okay. Like I said, y'all, I had, I wrote this down again. Because they went back to Paula and the husband house. And I was still like, look, y'all, can y'all get this house together? Even when she was getting together to go to the show um you know she was doing her um her makeup and y'all you know what when i was a little girl i used to have a, a vanity top kind of sort of like how she what she had to do like for makeup i wish i had that mess now but like am i the only person because i pay attention to stuff when she was doing when they would like they had a house together you know, but the kitchen looked like it was still an episode of Horrors because it looked like it was 50 of them things up on the counter. Like, yeah. Okay. Um, we do see that Golden, you know, her baby is sick. Um, and Elise is like, well, you don't have to worry about coming to the show. Y'all, I, I don't think she was lying about that. Who gonna lie about that? She did still come to the show and, you know, so we're gonna get to that. Um, Countess' little outfit that she did, um, the sh you know that she um wore to the show it was cute it was really cute um pa y'all paula is just so fake and so messy because you was sitting up talking you know she, ooh, she didn't invite me in side eyeing and you got some slick to say you know to every little bit of thing dealing with this show yeah, you the biggest one. Woo and I Yeah, that was just that was just so shady. I was like, girl, would you please get it together? Like you looking real, real phony right now. Like um Yeah. Then Paula Paula said something slick about um Elise Elise made a comment about um Countess. She said, you know, we want to thank, I think she said it like, we want to thank Countess, you know, um, she's beautiful, beautiful, excuse me, beautiful, in her own way. And Paula had something, to, like, she kind of made a little slip coming about that. It's the same thing she did when she talking about, you. we're going to get to see the definition of love through you because you're not what you would typically think would be with the athlete. That shit, y'all know what? Honestly, three women now. Well, two. Because Golden ain't really. Golden is on that whole love yourself for who you are level, tease or whatever. But to me, I feel like, honestly, Paula and Elise, in their own way, have a problem with big women. I, I, I do, because for you to say something like, you're beautiful in your own way or you're not the typical like that that's assuming like i said on my last video that's assuming that every single man wants somebody that's really really thin every every man doesn't want a woman that's a size eight and below that's that's real you know and that's no shade to anybody you know but every man like for instance my young brother I ain't never seen my young brother date no girl that's hell. I ain't never maybe an eight, maybe. He like really thin girls. You know, but not every single man likes a woman that's really thin. And I just honestly, I just feel like that's twice that they have referenced something dealing with her weight. You know what I'm saying? Or something dealing with 
trying to emphasize that despite of her weight she's beautiful and I, I just feel like if you if you genuinely think somebody looks nice or is beautiful you you don't say oh she's pretty for a big girl or she's pretty in her own way you know what I'm saying because that kind of implies that by regular standards you look like crap I mean if that makes sense um then we got now Lisa I was I was okay with Lisa this whole episode for the most part but then Lisa why are you being so messy like after um after you know um uh I'm, I'm having a brain fart after Elise after Elise um you know thanked um Countess she didn't say anything about Golden. I honestly didn't notice it. Okay. I didn't, I didn't notice it. Golden didn't notice it. Elise didn't notice it. But Messy Lisa is like, oh no, uh uh. See, if that had been me, this is what you need to do and blah, whoop, whoop, blah, blah, blah. But my thing was. You don't even too much care for um Golden. So why does why do you care whether or not she was acknowledged or not? I just felt like you was doing that for the sole sake of being messy to kind of try to start something. Which okay, y'all understand that Lisa, you was on the Housewives and you know drama sales, but let you tell it. Um, you said you left the show because you're not really out about all that drama and blah blah woot woot. But tonight it just really felt like you was doing stuff to be messy because she just i mean made it her business to say something to um countess and to um paula and then she said something to elise and to golden and she just made a big deal out of it and elise was like well hold on i had a brain fart seriously my bad she was like oh but i can rectify this hold on she got up there and she made a special shout out to Golden. And I just felt like Lisa still, that still wasn't good enough for her. You know, she still was trying to say little slick stuff. And I'm just like, why? Like, let it go. Like, you you trying to be messy. Okay. Next we see they doing the interviews for the writers. Y'all, I was in here cracking up because... I hear something outside, y'all, and it's like after 11 o'clock at night. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Let me hurry up. I think that's my baby. <laughs> In a humming or something, y'all. But anyway, he throwing me the hell off. Um. Okay. So they have Lisa, you know, so everybody, I guess everybody brought somebody. They only showed, um four so they didn't if, if countess brought some you know her own you know person they didn't show him but they had some you know everybody else had somebody okay so y'all now if y'all recall when paula mama which i can't i can't remember her name when she was talking to um, when they was talking, she said that broke down man told her that the reason he can't work is because he don't trust Paula to work, you know, to be on set and stuff. Cause pretty much she opened her legs up to anybody that take it. Y'all, Paula was giving me some loose in the panties, um, tease the night because the writer that golden hair bro she was like uh, excuse me what's your sign and the dude was like excuse me and she's like what's your sign he said burger she's like mm. i said oh yeah yeah broke down man was right you a hoe um <laughs> sorry now Next, you know, she's like, um, I got, you know, I got a trick up my sleeve. And who walks at old broke down man? So I'm like, Lord, she, why she brought this? Why she brought her husband? But just like Golden said, he actually, 
you know, he had some ideas or whatever. Okay. Because especially like for Golden's character, because you know, they done changed it. She said she ain't gonna be no crackhead. She'll be somebody that's dealing with like mental illness. And he said that his mother was a caseworker specialized in mental illness, this, that, and third. So she was like, you know what? Once he actually got a chance to talk for himself, you know, he brings something to the table and it was interesting. But y'all, once again, Paula confirmed what I had, what I said last week. She pretty much want a man that she can control because she was like, they telling me to let him speak for himself, but clearly that's coming from women that's not married because all women know that men can't speak for themselves. I mean, I already know what he going to say, so I can go ahead and say it. He can't speak for himself. Y'all, I guess that's the difference between a man that work and provide and a man that's just broke and broke down because, yeah, I don't speak for my husband. No. My husband is a grown-ass man. My husband has a mother. Okay? He been, just like K. Michelle say, you can't raise a man. He been raised. Okay? So, my role as his wife is I'm his partner. You know, and I'm going to stand by his side. But I'm not going to speak for him. Just like he not going to speak for me. Like, I'm, you know, like I'm not a grown-ass woman now. Don't get me wrong. You know, there are those, you know, those circumstances. Um, me and my husband are very traditional. When it comes to another man, now nah, you go through my husband. That's, but that's not, that's not me, you know, him speaking for me. Or when it comes to another woman, me speaking for him, that's a sign of respect. Okay. So, yeah. I, y'all, she, she lost me when she talking about no man know how to speak for themselves. And yeah. Yeah, she, mm -mm. that just, to me, that just, you know, you know, that just confirmed again that she pretty much just wants, you know, somebody that she could tell what to do. Y'all, that's that for this episode. Honey, I'm ready for next episode because that's going to be some meat, potatoes. That's going to be some good teas because it's going to be something where this this is the episode next episode that i have been waiting for because when i saw the previews you know be like this season i was like oh because i saw paula telling golden about stay with my man and i was like dang golden girl you like that mm, excuse me y'all i'm with golden because when if you look at the clip when Paula says, stay away from my man, everybody, Lisa, all of them, like, like, Golden like to spit out her drink. And she's looking like, I'm just going to feel like, okay, no shade, um, sweetie, but girl, don't nobody want this man but you. Now, from the sounds of things, I mean... He might leave you for Golden, even though, you know, Golden kind of going through right now. She's her living situation and her finances is better than yours. And you said it yourself that he thought he was getting a woman with money and blah, blah, whoop, whoop. And you ain't got it. So he, he, you know, he wants to be a kept man. So he might leave you, you know, but child, them women don't want him. Why would you? Y'all ain't no gold digger or nothing like that. But who want a man that. You had your wife and your child living in a hotel. You bring nothing to the table. So why would I want you? Uh, y'all. I be I keep saying it. Y'all, Paula is delusional. If you really think somebody want this man other than you. So y'all, that's what I'm waiting on. I'm I am waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting on that episode. Y'all, I'm I'm really liking this show. It's really cute. Um like I said, just about every episode, I, I like the realness. I really do. But as always, y'all, I do thank y'all for watching. If you subscribe to my channel, thank you very much. If you don't, but you just watch the videos, um, thank you very much. I do videos strictly because I like doing them. Um, tomorrow is Thursday. So it is Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder. Friday, I think we are going to the movies. Um 
to see the new Matthew McConaughey movie, I think. But I do thank y'all for watching.